If you've been having problems with compositing in Blender, you probably need to take a look at the Colorist Pro add-on. It is all about giving you real-time color grading inside Blender's viewport, not just in the compositor. But I'm here for the most part to talk about the latest version, which includes a full LUT pack, the Colorist Pro pack, in addition to a Hollywood inspired set that drops cinematic looks into your scene right away. You also get the standard color tools, including temperature, tint, highlights, midtones, shadows, whites, blacks, vibrance, and saturation, and selective color grading where you can target individual hues. And one of the newest features is a custom OCIO config with ACES support. This means it is supported to flip your scene into a color workflow, more stable for high-end color work. You know, instead of wrestling with Blender's default color management. In addition, there is more refined control over contrast now, because the update splits contrast focus versus depth, letting you dial either clarity or dimensionality separately, in addition to many other things. From what I can tell, using Colorist Pro feels easy to work with. You drop it into your scene, pick a lot or start with a default, and then tweak sliders in real time. And because it works in the viewport, you see the feedback immediately, which is great for look development. This immediacy wins over editing in the compositor, then waiting for the render, tweaking, repeating, and so on. The developer also made installation and version matching easier, which is actually a great thing. Also, the parameter names have been simplified in recent updates. Now, let's talk about the features. What impresses me is the combination of LUT plus real-time adjustment inside the viewport. Because, as you may know, many tools force you to go to the compositor or external software. But this add-on keeps you inside Blender for the look pass. The ACES and OCIO support is another big win, because color management is always a negotiation. And having a quick way to switch into a more filmic or production-friendly workflow is actually a real help. Also, dividing contrast into focus versus depth is really clever, so you can sharpen clarity without flattening your midtones or losing 3D sense. Also, the visual clarity improves, which reduces artifacts and highlights, and preserve color better. As you can tell, the LUT packs are cinematic, with inspiration from films like Blade Runner 2049, Joker, etc. And it gives you a fast and ready look that you can start with. Now, on a side note, there are a few things to pay attention to, because nothing is perfect. Several users mentioned that enabling some effects, like glare in the viewport, clashes Blender or it makes it unstable. There's also reports that when rendering, the color effects don't always carry over or there are some glitches, like black screens in the final composite. And this can be a problem if you're doing animation or consistent AV pipelines. Because color grading is happening in the viewport and the compositor layers, very aggressive tweaks could lead to highlight clipping, color shifts, or inconsistent frames across animation. The developer is responding actually to a lot of pain points, with better color module, more clarity, tooltips, avoiding messing with the user color space, etc. So generally speaking, I would say, at least for single scenes, look development, short animations, or still, this add-on is quite great. And for more complicated projects, you have to see for yourself. But for the most part, it is actually fantastic. So if you are interested in this add-on, you will find all the necessary links in the description. And there you have it, guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.